guys, it's Mike Sorgan, your basic Sorganomics for this morning. And today I want to talk a little bit about social media, as I tend to do on this show. Uh, but I got a little bit of an insight, a little bit of a, a, a motivation from uh, our boy Dan Hooven out there. Hi, I know you're listening. You know, he's a frequent listener to the show. I often get a, a text uh, in all caps, uh, where the heck are you? Uh, when when I don't have the show up by like oh nine thirty or or whatever the case may be, but uh, we're doing it early, so it should get up in fine time today, Dan. Uh, but anyways, uh, you know, kind of hit him up, being like, hey, you know, what, what do you want to talk about this week? You know, I'm kind of uh, in one of those modes where I'm like, you know, just hitting up some some friends and and such, and saying, you know, hey, what's a good topic? What's something we should cover that maybe we haven't before? Because I'm I'm a little bit worried about uh, certainly covering similar topics, but. His he says uh, uh you know kind of uh, WWE is a good I, I use WWE as a reference a lot of times with their social media because I think as far as large brands go I think they're one of the best easily they're one of the best on social media after a few slips for a time they were seemed to want to create their own social network in the uh, WWE universe which you know I, I I'm kind of a fan of you know somebody you know talked to me about a, a new thing that we're working on and they're like oh you can make a community out of it i was like yeah yeah i don't know about that like i don't want to board on the thing right uh but uh i do want a conversation around the brand that we're we're, we're trying to build here uh, wwe moved from that to letting the conversation happen where it's already happening, basically. And if you go out on to various social networks of various sizes, they've kind of blanketed everything. But again, I, I don't want you to think that you need to be in all these places that these guys have ended up. You know, that's fine. I mean, it, it, when you're starting off and you're a small thing, you know, you start on one social media. You start on two social medias that feel comfortable to you. And you see if, and especially if that's, the place where you think those people are, you know, if you're, if you think that those people are mostly on Pinterest because they're, uh, I don't know, a craft group or something like that. I know that's a very broad example. And I know we've talked about in recent weeks, how that is not a fair example anymore. Uh, but still, but Hey, as far as Pinterest goes, so, so look at WWE, take it, take the opportunity, uh, if you can, in your, in your busy days, uh, go to your favorite, uh, social media, and some of your less favorite social media, and and just look up WWE. Look at them on Twitter. Look at them on Facebook. Look at them on Google Plus. They're very they're 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 there. They're there, and they're obviously using a. a I think they they're definitely using Hootsuite for some of these things, right? And, and <laughs> although it looks like their Google Plus has not been updated, um, I you know that's not true. I, I there's somebody on the uh, Periscope saying no one uses Google Plus, and we can have a whole other show about that. But I think there's definitely very specific groups that do use Google Plus. There are very very good communities in certain respects. Um, I have a very good uh, uh, podcasting community on there. I was here. Photographers have great groups up there. Uh, there's a uh, actually a lot of re- lot of interaction. If you go look at the WWE universe and, and other uh, kind of higher end wrestling groups, I throw a video in there, a clip from our Wrestling Mayhem show, and I'll have a bunch of responses every 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 time every time. It's it's pretty incredible. Uh, no, not all of your friends are using Google Plus, but there are people using Google Plus. And if you're something as big as WWE, you want to cover your bases. But as I was mentioning with Pinterest, I'm really kind of uh, interested to see how they use it because you know this is a male demographic thing. Although we've talked about how the male demographic is bigger than you think on Pinterest, you know it's not the the full percentage, you know, over overwhelming percentage of Pinterest, but it's enough that you want to get those guys. And they have things uh, right now. They have them kind of split up until uh, uh, their board split up until the shows that they're doing. And uh, but then they, they, when you go down here, there's oh, Slam City. I love I love Slam City. Uh, then they have like a back to school version, and, and they have uh, fan arts and signs and superstars for hope. Uh, they're actually tackling a lot of the memes that you see all over, and uh, it, it's it's pretty cool. It, it's pretty cool. There, the, you know, you could kind of tell that there's somebody there in the office that's paying attention to those. Uh, there's been memes that happen over over the course of, of a week, like something strange may happen and it turns into an anime gif uh, from that night's raw, and it sometimes gets referenced the next week. 
So they're paying attention to these things across the board, not just some like intern in a closet trying to make sure the Pinterest board is updated. And even right now, they're 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 very consistent on uh, Facebook and Twitter mostly. It, it, it feels as though their Google Plus actually it actually still has a WrestleMania uh, logo at the top of it. So I don't think they're quite on top of that, but they are cross posting all their stuff. And maybe that's all they, they they think that's worthwhile. And those are getting comments. There's people there. Uh, they're posting, uh, th here's something about the uh, main event of the pay-per-view coming up Sunday, and there's 52 people commenting. There's people there. Not the millions and millions like on Facebook, but uh, they're certainly there. But again, it's it, it's kind of very consistent. And also, <laughs> here's them being in tune with the uh, language uh, over on Facebook, uh, because he can't win them all, and this is about entrances that go wrong, and the little video that posts up here. Um... By the way, I think this is, oh, this is not, this is actually YouTube, so they're not, they're not putting video directly in here, or at least not all the time, and uh, hashtag fail, and, you know, they're, they're speaking the internet language, and that's very, very important, and, and especially when their demographic, you know, we're talking about, you know, that kind of younger audience that is going to get the internet, you need to make sure you're talking to them on that level, so. Uh, very cool stuff, and, and they're also oh they are putting they are putting their own video in Facebook. It looks like maybe I'm maybe, maybe I'm interpreting. No, that's a that's another YouTube or something, isn't it? Interesting, very interesting. I don't, I don't even know what this player is. Maybe they got a special player. I don't know. WWE seems to get some things that other people don't because if you're a bigger brand like this, you get to now this one's a Facebook video. They're all over the place with their videos on their Facebook though. Like uh, some of the stuff is uploaded and some stuff isn't. Yeah, see some of it auto plays and some of the stuff up here didn't. Um, very interesting. That's that's a, that could be a whole, a whole another topic. But uh, what does this mean for you? So let's say you're doing your thing. You're not quite as big. You know, I was talking about. Um, I was actually talking with somebody yesterday. They're doing some video series, and um, I was talking about them how they can kind of capture more people by. Uh, bringing their video over to Facebook, uh, uh, you know, clipping the thing up, being consistent, you know, and, and just kind of regurgitating a lot of that content across different platforms. Uh, you don't have to be WWE to the stick. Not only do, you know, I showed you WWE's, if you're on video, uh, WWE's main Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, but also they're also managing, and while the wrestlers do manage their own accounts, you can kind of tell that they're managing those as well. Because you'll be you'll be uh, uh, watching uh, through somebody's feed, and uh, you'll notice a tweet about, "Hey, uh, NXT or this show's coming up. Uh, you know, make sure you you get WWE Network." And it's very not in that person's voice, and it's uh, uh, you see the same tweet across different wrestlers' accounts. So everybody has their own account, but there's also somebody with a, a again, I imagine a manager like Hootsuite uh, that's also auto scheduling across every wrestler's account some stuff like that some promotional materials but it makes sense each wrestler is a brand and and then they all have to be consistent to the wwe side of things so uh so on that note a little bit about consistency there a little bit about wwe seriously i i still contend that they're, they've won awards over the last few years for their social media presentations and uh and i'm really impressed as i'm going through a news feed on on monday night uh, clips from Monday Night Raw are popping up like five minutes after I just saw them on TV. You can almost just watch Raw just going through the uh, the Facebook feed at this point. So really interesting that they're they're on top of that. And I also wonder how many social media people are there on location um, during a Monday Night Raw or or back at the office or whatever the case may be, capturing this kind of stuff. Um, and and I didn't get into it, but uh, this is a whole other thing, and maybe a whole other topic. I'm very impressed with WWE by uh, how much stuff they're filming on iPhones, and that's what they're using for TV. I, I, I tweeted about it a little bit yesterday, and I think we're going to actually do that for a topic tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned. Basic Sorgonomics, Sorgatron.com. Please subscribe to the newsletter. We're going to have another Creators newsletter. I hope you guys you guys have, have been enjoying it, I can tell. Uh, thank you, everybody that's been reading that. We could, of course, cross-post that at Sorgatron.com and over on my LinkedIn profile. So please follow all of those wherever you want to check that out. And if you uh, sign up for the newsletter, of course, you'll get a little bit of tidbits of everything else that we're doing around here. Hey, I had a great talk with Arnie Roth, uh, who's going to be here in town in Pittsburgh with the Pittsburgh Symphony or Orchestra uh, for Final Fantasy's Distant Worlds presentation. 
tremendous talk. It'll be up on Awesome Chat today. Stay tuned at awesomecast.net in conjunction with our friends at insertcointobegin.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.